The Morning Cometh, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight. is out of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5, in the evening and the morning were the first day. Sometimes I think the church has a bias towards big and a bias towards new. And uh, sometimes I think we would benefit if we go back into some of the old writings of past preachers and commentators and, and Christians. F.B. Meyer was a man that lived in London at the, and pastored at the same time Charles Spurgeon did. And I like his devotional thought on Genesis 1-5. He says, six times these words are repeated, and the one lesson that rings out is that God counts his periods not as man does from night to night, but from evening till morning. Not the first light and after that the dark, but first the dark and after that the light. God saw that each night would end in daylight, and the end of all the nights in, and all the days would be the eternal day in which there can be no darkness at all. That's what John saw. There shall be no night there, for the Lord giveth them light. And the sun is of materialism, sets in a black ocean, unlit by the stars of hope. But as long as God is, we believe that He will make a new heaven and a new earth. From, for, from out of what seems disappointing and hopeless, He will bring a fairer creation than before. Creation shall participate in the glorious liberty of the sons of God. Watchmen, what of the night? The morning cometh. The darkness will finally pass away before the radiance uh, of the dawn. And this is because God is God. He is love, He is light, and His word creates. So it is with the individual life may be dark, sin is darkness, sorrow is darkness, ignorance is darkness, and these three may be part of your daily lot, but the night is far spent, the day is at hand. For you the morning star is in the sky, the education of your soul is like that of a child at school, how hard and difficult those first days, but when the rudiments were mastered, when the discipline has played its part, then were reaped the harvest of sowing, and darkness was turned to day. Be of good cheer, even in death there is nothing to fear. That night they caught nothing, but when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore. The dark waves as they break around the boat of your life are bearing you onward to the morning meal upon the golden sands, where you will find that love has gone before you with its preparations. It shall be evening and morning and and lo, the day without night. Mighty Father God, I pray that you'd help us to get through the dark nights of our soul, those hard times that seem to almost gang up on us, God, and help us to remember that the, the dawn is breaking and soon your eternal kingdom will be set up, the creation restored to what it, what it was intended to be as you create a new heaven and a new earth, and you give us new bodies and, and a new kind of life, a new, a new uh, lifestyle even, a, new, a, new bo a, a brand new situation. We just thank you, God. Pray that you just help us to hold on until that day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have